Next question is from J. Nick Dave. Should someone who's a beginner focus on bulking or cutting first? How do you know which to do first? You know, this is a general question. So, of course, it depends on the individual. Yeah. But generally speaking, I think um, I typically have a client focus on bulking first. Now, I don't. I say that loosely. I'm not telling. I'm not having them bump their calories like crazy or whatever. I'm typically just trying to get them stronger yeah. before I ever try to cut any kind of calories, because I want to work with a healthier metabolism, or maybe maybe that's the wrong word. I want to work with a faster metabolism. Yeah. It's easier to get lean when your body's burning more calories naturally. And I want them to be good to performance-wise in the gym while I'm working with them. I, I think to, to establish some of these like compound lifts, I don't you know, necessarily want to run them through a cut where like they're, they may fatigue uh, you know, more so than they would if they were fed. Yeah, you know, I, I, I've talked about this before in, in old podcasts, but I'll bring it up again um, for listeners who might not have heard this, but there's a bit of a misconception when it comes to um, you know, the best workouts for fat loss. A lot of us think I'm going to do the exercises and the workouts that just burn tons of calories, but that's completely negating the fact that the workout itself sends a signal to the body and the signal that it sends to the body tells the body to get better at whatever you're doing. And so what happens when you're focusing on just losing weight and let's say you're doing lots of cardio, lots of these hit style workouts and circuit type training is your body starts to become efficient with calories you actually start to slow your metabolism down. And for people who are like, oh, that doesn't really happen. I've read studies. No, no, no. Look at modern hunter-gatherers. There was this really amazing study done on, on modern hunter-gatherers, uh, the Hadza tribe, or Hudsa, I believe is, is spelled, uh, tribe, where they, they scientists went in and measured their calorie burn, and the, they predicted that these, these people would be burning 5,000 calories a day because they're hunting and walking and moving all day long. They thought, oh, these people are going to burn way more calories than the average person. It turns out they weren't burning that many more calories than the average person. And you think to yourself, how is that possible? They're moving like crazy. Because it doesn't make sense. Why would the human body evolve to burn shit tons of calories all the time when food has always been so scarce? Now, there is one form of exercise that will tell the body to burn more calories, and that is resistance training, strength. Because strength, when your body prioritizes strength, the second priority is to become efficient with calories. It actually bumps it down the list a little bit and says, we need to get stronger. In order to get stronger, you have to build muscle. That burns more calories. So more often than not, if I had a client that wanted to lose a lot of weight, I would even I would start them off and be like, well, we're going to focus on strength for a little while before we even try to lose any weight. It took me a while to figure that out. But once I started doing that, I had much better long-term success. I like this question because um, not only do I agree with you, but I would always – uh, start someone to bulk up. The only exception to the rule would be a competitor or somebody who has already been tracking their food and they came to me and said, Adam, I'm at 5,000 calories a, a day already. I, they have all their macros tracked out for me. They're already eating a ton of calories and they're like, will you help me get shredded? Like, And that's like one in a you know thousand people come to me ever like that. Most people uh, are coming to me with nowhere, no clue where to start, and or you know somebody who is really overweight, and that's what's really changed for me uh, as a trainer. And it, it took me probably a decade to figure this piece out because you, the the I think the common knowledge says oh, okay, somebody who is three hundred pounds, they come and hire a personal trainer to lose a hundred pounds. You're going to put them on a cut? No, not at all, because most of those people have extremely uh, slow metabolisms because they're deconditioned, they're not moving around, they don't they have a lot of body fat, they don't have a lot of muscle mass on their body and and have probably real poor eating habits where they, you know, uh, binge like crazy and then they restrict. And so when I first get a hold of anybody no matter how overweight they are, the first few months minimum is focused on us actually starting to slowly increase calories. Now I ch change them, right? Most people come and their their you know their macro profiles way off. They're way over consuming sugar and carbs and and sometimes fat, not getting enough uh, protein or not getting enough healthy fats, not getting enough fiber. So, and we've talked about this on the show many times. Like I don't like to take away from somebody. Somebody who also has a hard time controlling their diet 
going straight into a diet that you restrict from them is always a really bad place to start. They have a lot they need to work on as far as their relationship with food. And I've found that I've had a lot more success with assessing a diet. And instead of telling them, oh, you can't have these things, saying, hey, I want to add this into your diet. And so I'll add things to the diet while also strength training uh, to what Justin and Sal's point was, which is so I, I would build more muscle, which would then speed their metabolism up. So always uh, I'm starting somebody on a bulk before we go to a yeah. cut. Plus it's nice to show somebody that, to value or to teach someone to value performance first anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's like they came in there, they want to lose 30 pounds, but now you're getting them stronger and then they start to feel stronger. They start to see the weights go up in the gym. They start to feel better on their body. And then they start to value exercise for that. That's a nice relationship to start with. Like you, you're valuing the performance and you're getting it. You're, you're starting off on the right foot. And then you know, a few months later, like you're saying, Adam, then switching them to now we're going to start to- Then comes the reveal. Yeah. Now we're going yeah. to start to reduce calories and, and, and see what happens. It's just a much better long-term approach.